going on everybody welcome back to another episode of ram detecting well we're back at the field today yeah i know guys i dig bullets <laughs> that's just what i do uh so uh if you're out there saying mark go, go do something different well you know uh duck will go to water just you know anyway today we got a new machine to try out we got the f70 uh, with the 9-inch coil, I've already done some pre-testing of this machine at home, and I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, the depth seems like it's pretty good. I can't wait to get out here on the field, find some Civil War bullets with it. Uh, also, uh, I've got a little surprise for Mr. Fred whenever he arrives uh, from myself and uh, the guys over at First Texas. Can't wait to give him that. And I got a special guest today. My uh, good friend and neighbor, uh, Emerson, is coming to join us. And he's going to dig his first Civil War bullet today. So once they get here, I'll introduce them. And uh, we'll give Mr. Fred his, uh, his little uh, secret uh, prize there. If you see it on the back of my truck. Anyway, can't wait to get out there today, guys. It's a beautiful day. So we'll check back in whenever the guys get here. All right, guys, sorry about the wind. Uh, I didn't bring my mic today. But we got the Time Ranger Pro. Fred, uh, on behalf of me and First Texas, and as a thank you for, you know, uh, taking me out here and, and, and being so hospitable and, and allowing me to take uh, Russ and those guys out here, we wanted to give you something. And so got you a Time Ranger Pro and a, and a few t-shirts there, but uh, thank, right. thank you so much, man. All right. All right, Fred's using his new Time Ranger Pro. He thinks he might have one, so I want to see him dig his first one with that thing. I said it sounded deep, so. Sounds good. <laughs> it's a coke can. It was down there though. What, yeah. what was that thing down there? Probably 12 inches or more. Uh, yeah. Well, he'll get used to All that. All right, we've been talking to uh, the farmer that farms this field, which I knew, and we've talked, met him a couple times. But anyway, he's been saying that there's been people out here that wasn't supposed to be out here. So stay on your own permission, fit people. Anyway, Fred thinks he might have one. Just saw a bunch of dick hoes that wasn't ours, so we know somebody's been out here. Sounds pretty good. Did you drop it? Well, it's not a can this time. There it is. First three ringer with that new Time Ranger Pro. Sweet, man. Has it been rammed? Look like it's been rammed. Yep. yep. yep been rammed. Nice. All right, guys, we've been out here for quite a while. Fred's done dug two or three bullets. Uh, we did take a little time talking and whatnot. Haven't dug anything. Hadn't really been getting any signals. I knew something was not right because I, I used this machine yesterday, found quite a few things. Let me show you what I think it so was. So I tried this little device you can use to uh, Bluetooth stuff, hooks into your headphones. I noticed my machine, I couldn't get it to ground balance or anything else. I unplugged it, instantly ground balance, instantly started finding stuff. So, guys, watch out with putting stuff like this on your machines. I don't, I don't know what's interfering with this machine in particular, but something's up with it uh, when you plug this unit in. So, yeah, definitely. All right, Emerson's using a T2. Um, he thinks he might have one. It sounds really good. This will be his first Civil War bullet if he did. Now, if you remember the uh, Toad Suck hunt that I, not, not Toad Suck, uh, Ozark hunt, the little fellow that won the machine in that, that was uh, Emerson's son there that won that. So, hopefully he's getting his first one. Oh. Oh, you moved it, I think. It's probably in your hand. No. Nope. 
<laughs> what happened to it? Oh, you mowed it out. <laughs> All right. There it oh, is. Oh, yeah. He got his first one, man. That's so awesome. That's you, awesome. What you got? It's three ringer? A three ringer. Nice. It's pretty good shape, Ooh, too, yeah. man. Sweet. Congratulations, man. Thank you, sir. Man, uh, I was getting discouraged. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, I told the guys I might swatch, switch over to the Time Ranger Pro because, you know, I'm just confident with that machine. But every time Fred or, or uh, Emerson would find one, I'd swing over it and I would hear it. Uh, but I had a, it was hitting in the 80s and then it was jumping in the 60s. And I got a bullet. <laughs> so I'm on the board. I didn't get skunked today. Nice three ringer from the American Civil War. Sweet. Um, had a signal here. I couldn't find it. It was moving everywhere. I was like, what the heck's going on with it? Um, <laughs> I just hit something. Can y'all see this? You see what this looks like right there? See, it's orange. If you remember last year, a certain somebody <laughs> lost something out here. Look at this. You guys know what that is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Fred's pin pointer. Check that out. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Let's see if it still works. All right, fellas. Uh, after the uh, great pinpointer uh, find of the day, I think I got a bullet signal here. Hitting 58. It doesn't sound like it's deep. I'm just going to take the uh, air pulse and see. It's kind of on top. Yeah, it's right there. We'll take the... Uh, well, Excalibur hand digger. Pop that out. Well, it's like it's a little further down there. Oh, think I just rolled it out. Look at there, guys. Boom. Three ringer from the American Civil War. Sweet. All right, I'm on another one, I think. I just uh, was talking to old Russ about this machine. Tell him I was just not used to it yet, I guess. He said, I'm probably just not getting over the targets. And that probably is true because, listen. <laughs> There's another one. So, I don't know, guys. Uh, get used to your machine. I was like, this is the second time I actually got out with it yesterday, trying to learn it, getting familiar with it, because I don't like going out not knowing my machines, you know. So being new to it, I'm just not in tuned with it. So, yeah, that's, so. All right, I think we got it right here. Where you go? Let's try it again. It should be right in this area. Oh, there it is. You see it, guys? Right there. All right, and it's rammed hard. Sweet. Yep, another three ringer. Sorry about my finger in the shot. <laughs> All right, nice. All right, I can't say enough about old Russ. Guys, he just sat here and walked me through the settings on this machine. I was running it way wrong. Apparently on F70, uh, you need to run the, thresh, the threshold up high, sensitivity down. Where normally, like on machines, we, we like to jack that sensitivity up. Something about the processing is just backwards from other machines. And it is actually super deep when you run it like that, even with that uh, smaller coil. And I was thinking, man, I need a bigger coil. No. Guys, look at this. Pinpointer deep, she was down there. Uh, well, about nine nine inches, plenty of depth. After he uh, helped me set it up, so yeah, guys, run that threat. If you're running F70, run that threshold up. Turn your sensitivity down. See what happens. Sweet. Oh, what a uh, <laughs> what a difference those settings made. And I just found another one. 
uh, not too far from that one. Well, I think it's another one. It was a good signal. Let's uh, wreck out the s boss and see. I think it was in this clump here. Yep, right there. Check it out, guys. Another three ringer. Man, sweet. And another one. Difference between daylight and, and dark, guys. Right there, boom. Wow, look at that one. That guy had a hard impact. Nice, that one actually, yeah. That's a star carbine, sweet. We might give that one to Emerson so they have a variety. Nice. All right, we're kind of making our way back to the truck. I've, I've found uh, several since I've got you guys out. Just been enjoying, uh, actually enjoying using this machine now since I got it set up properly. Uh, thanks again, Russ. Uh, had a lower tone, but I think it may be a pistol bullet. Sounding VDIs are just a little bit lower than a than a uh, three ringer, but you know I might be wrong. Somewhere up in here. Where are you at, little buddy? Oh, right there, pistol bullet. Exactly what it was. Heck yeah. Here we go, coat pistol bullet from the American Civil War. Sweet! Well guys, we're back at the truck. I think I learned a very important and valuable lesson. I hope you took something away from that. First off, when you're using equipment that doesn't belong on that machine, test it out. <clears throat> that little uh, wireless setup was interfering with it, wouldn't let me ground balance. Took it off at the end of the field, started getting better, called Russ. He helped me and run through my settings on this machine. So if you're having trouble uh, with a particular machine, call somebody that runs that machine and uh, talk to them, see what their settings are, get them to run through there. Cause after I uh, did that, started finding bullets, started coming back. I still think, oh, uh, Fred kind of kicked our butt with that Time Ranger Pro, but hey, it's the Time Ranger Pro. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I was coming back on them so maybe next time we'll bring the uh, F70 back out and see what we can do with a full day of digging. Let's get over here and see what the count is. All right, Emerson did really good out there with that T2 today uh, for his first time. He dug a few iron objects, a couple uh, railroad spikes and a plow point. I think this might be a cotton spindle part or something. Uh, some pull tabs. He uh, actually got on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Civil War bullets. Was also in a couple modern. Uh, Fred, I think he said he got 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12. 12 yep, you got 12. And, uh, oh, uh, Mark, for the comeback, I don't know if you want to count these. I think these are little, uh, Bucky balls. But without those, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, uh, with the F70 after uh after the little mishap with the wireless thing and, and russ walked me through the uh through the settings so i'm excited to get back out with that machine and actually see what i do and then when i get that big uh big coil on it i think it's gonna be a freaking beast so all in all we had a fantastic day i think uh emerson had a great time finding his first civil war relics and uh fred how do you how did you like the little uh time ranger pro sweet yeah, I, I love that machine. You guys know that. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. And like I always say, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.